these frogs. It's a dinosaur egg. Will you do me the honor of being Mrs. Jonathan Rebecca McKnight? Yes. Of course, with something that size, better say yes. Look at that. Imagine walking around with that. Check it. <laughs> okay, we're officially on the road. It's 10:44. Headed to Big Bend National Park. About six hours. Excited. Better than eight. Nine. We're almost nine. So <laughs> we'll see. I burned through that last thing of gas way too fast. That's okay. I was taking about yeah. two hours for yeah. two to three hours. Well, the last one I, I got about three hours on. I mean, we were rolled up in this lows with zero miles left. <laughs> yeah, we were on zero. So we were we on to... empty for the last 10 miles. Yeah. I'm gonna get the doggies out. Rough. Rough. Hello. campsite but we had to stop by the Lowe's grocery store because it's like the last one until like the last actual grocery store until we get there there's like a I don't know what you would call it like a, a market um no oh, okay. there's one across from our camp sheet but campsite but it's not a full grocery, grocery store. store so we had a park like a block away with our trailer because it wouldn't fit in the thing yeah. in the parking lot so we had to walk over parking here yeah so we had a park a block and walk we're about to go to the grocery store get our stuff for the week Okay, we just got the trailer set up enough to step away, let it cool down a little bit. And we are taking the dogs out here. Um, it's so beautiful out here. So they're taking their walkabouts and their potty breaks and stretching their legs. But I think they're gonna like it here. It's so, so gorgeous. We're right on the border of one, Mexico, two, um, Big Bend. It's like right over there somewhere. So we're super, super close. Tomorrow, we're gonna be doing National Park, going to the visitor center, and all the good stuff. Um, if anyone can tell me what that is up there, who knows? Can you, where does it go? Maybe oh, I need to flip the screen and see. It's this thing right there. Can you zoom in more? Bad thing. I've seen them on mountains before. My guess is it is an aircraft notice knows then let us know yeah leave it. i'm very curious and i'm not one who likes to google things so <laughs> that's why you married me i google everything look at layla yes scratchy itchy itchy wow she couldn't be more happier I see jade over there jade's just ready to go to the next place Yes. It doesn't matter where she is, she's ready for the next place. Jade! Hi! 
Hi, baby girl. Where's Wilson? Wilson! He's just shorter than the grass. Bubba! Hi, baby boy! Wilson! Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, baby boy. Come on, baby, let's go. Nice at nighttime there. Oh, 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 there it goes. Okay. Where's the rollover? Oh, oh, yes. All right. She watched 100 and Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians, one time. Layla Bear. What color is she? Is that a black dog? Or? It looks grayish. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we finally have our Starlink Coal Buddy set up. John did this a couple of days ago. So yeah, so, so it's one, it's three different purchases. It's a three-parter, yeah. Three-parter. So three the, the pole and the clips and the attachments, the gray thing that goes into it where the pole meets the satellite, that's different. And then the satellite is different purchase. So, but this is so much better than... So right now it's it's searching for satellites. And the good thing about this is we used to put it up there with like a bungee cord, which that was a disaster because the wind blew it off and we almost broke our Starlink. There's yeah. a huge chip taken out of the bottom yeah. of it. You can't see it from here. Right there. Yeah. Right but, there. Uh, when we did it that way, we had to climb up there, make sure it was positioned and stay up there while it was calculating. Now, if it calculates and tells us that we need to face it a different direction, we can just twist the pole a little bit. That's awesome. On one. We Beautiful. Have to, we don't have to turn it or anything. The system is totally worth it. If you're going to get the Starlink, definitely get this pole buddy system. Anything else you want to say about this? Um, just the whole Starlink all in all. Is, yeah, probably about $1,200. With, the pole, buddy, With the, pole buddy, the pole buddy, the attachment. The first month subscription, yeah. the pole. Uh, but totally worth it if you're working. You gotta work, yeah, if you're working from home. You have to I have know it. Know everyone sitting around here is probably judging us for putting up internet, but... We're gonna be here for a week, we have to work. I gotta work, <laughs> I gotta make money. <laughs> Yay, we figured it out. All right, good night. She is so happy with herself being all dusty and crusty. She's so, she don't give, she don't care about nobody. Layla Bear. She's so happy with herself. So it's Sunday, adventure day, or our day date day. <laughs> and we are out, there's like a little trail and some hills over here by where we're staying. So we're just walking around with the dogs before we go to the national park. I don't even know where Jade is. <laughs> there she is. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> we're here. We did it. We're finally on the Rio Grande Village nature trail. We found it. Grabbed a little sandwich, feel good, and here we are, we made it.
Okay, we're kind of at the top of this thing. There's a Rio Grande a little bit. There's some horses right there. Just wild horses chilling. Pretty cool. Well, how was it? It's good. I'm out of shape. Yeah, it's okay. We both are. But at least we're doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're doing something. Something's better than nothing. And this is a pretty cool view. Okay, we're officially out of Big Bend. We had a wonderful time. 10 out of 10 would recommend. We did our first hike. So we feel super cool now. We're hikers now. Hi. Hi. Hi, Layla. Come on. So it is about 12 o'clock and me and Don are about to go to Terralunga and just go around. It's a ghost town. Get lunch. But before that, we have to go take the dogs out. So she's always this far out. So great combo. Push. It's how pretty this one is. John is getting the scratcher because he's been needing one and he's been using it as his pointer right now. <laughs> Look at these little like grenade ones. <laughs> You're a mess. <laughs> so clear. You can see through it. That scares me a little bit. Oh, there right. goes all this this stuff. It's like this. What is it? Oh. Look at it. Oh. Magma. Liquid. It's like a lava, like a lava lamp. lamp. Liquid hot magma. I wonder what it tastes like. I do, I'm sure. Sure. Tell okay. you what, it's one of those days where your crotch gets sweaty and your thighs start to stick together. Yeah. We have Mega Babe though. We didn't bring it. Mega Babe? Yeah, it's that thigh <laughs> stuff. The anti-chafe deodorant? Yeah. All right, we're gonna get some food. So what are we doing? So we just finished lunch. We picked up Wilson and Jade. And we are in Big Bend National Park. One, to just take the dogs on a car ride. And two, to fill up our water bottle thing again. So that's what we're doing. And all these lodges have balconies on them. So it's like the room. And then a balcony looking at all the mountains. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. Okay, got two new postcards while we were in Terralingua. And I'm gonna drop them off at this post box here at the visitor center. Okay, we're cooking dinner and we're using the grill, the outside grill for the first time. <laughs> Hot. Yum. We did it. You did it. It works. <laughs> There's a little valve underneath that I did not know about. 
I knew you had to plug it in, but you have to plug it in and then open the valve for it to work. And I'm glad Rebecca was here. My, uh, my counterpart forever. <laughs> Always helping. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. Let's eat. sessions so um, I'll probably just kind of start doing them just interrupt me if you see something or if you want to know something um, or if you just need to reiterate something from a previous session um, just feel free to call out but okay it is my it's May 1st it's Wednesday and we are leaving <laughs> study view it's almost 5 o'clock, John's finishing up work. Um, we are actually gonna be going back up north, about an hour, 15 minutes north of where we're at. We're in Steady Butte, we're gonna go to Alpine um, because it is so hot here and it's our trailer is trying to keep up and it's just like seven to 10 degrees warmer, just an hour more north instead of being at the entrance of Big Bend, which is hot. So we're gonna go up there. Um, I already got a reservation. We'll be there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so we're just gonna do a quick pack up and um, get on the road. I gotta make some sandwiches for dinner and um, we'll get done. That's a great thing about being in a trailer, trailer, travel trailer is if you are in a spot and you're done being there, you can leave earlier than planned wonderful so um paid the guy already so that was good anyway all right i want to pack up a little bit and get our um cooler packed as well Was the fastest we've ever loaded up and hooked up. Well, the 100 degree heat is a huge helped. motivator. Huge. They're ready to get out of this hot desert. Oh. oh, oh, you ready to go somewhere else? Let's go. Ma'am, you're in my spot. Ma'am, you're in my spot. We made it. McKnight. Good morning. It is Thursday, May 2nd. And we are in Alpine, Texas. It's beautiful in this campsite. I'm so glad we're here. So happy we're here. I have my massive cart full of laundry we have to get done. So that's what I'm gonna go do first. Let me show you my little setup here. So we have this um, car that we use for a lot of different reasons, but I mainly brought this for laundry because when we have campsites that have laundry facilities, I don't have to tote all this stuff by myself, so I brought this. So it has all my laundry, detergents, coins, all the good things. So I can just carry this over there to the laundry room.
Ireland. eating lunch and the electric goes out. We don't know, really know why. <clears throat> we looked at our fuses, they're fine. The connection's fine. I hear theirs going, don't you, John? <sighs> so we have lights, but everything's being pulled off the battery right now. So there's no AC, there's no fan. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Do you want me to go down there? Yeah. Do you want to go with me? Yeah. Okay. Camping. Real life. During my lunch break. During our lunch break. His lunch break's more important. Here. Sounds good, man. to move campsites. Long story short, that electrical box is complete trash and they're gonna have to tear it down and re-dig some stuff. So they're gonna give us another spot. So we had to move to a different lane entirely because not just ours, but the guys next to us, theirs went out. So I think it was both of our electrical boxes were gone. So we're here for about an hour and a half. And then the good thing is, is we're already hooked up. Did that take care of? I already dumped the tanks. The way already dumped the tanks, got everything hooked up. Um, got to put the water up. No blocks out, no nothing. I didn't even, you don't even touch the hose. You didn't touch this one? No. No. But okay, so. I'm gonna, un I'll unhook it and store it. The hard part is over, really. It's just putting the stuff inside, putting the dogs inside and going. Yeah. So, I gotta make dinner. Pack up the trailer, pack up the dogs. Mm -hmm. I'll stop being grouchy. The best news ever is it wasn't our trailer. It wasn't our fault. Yeah. Had nothing to do with us. That is such a massive win. So worried that, even if it was just the surge protector, that's a $180 mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, that we don't have. I mean, it's more than that $8,000 wiring if it was a trailer trailer. True. But. So we're just so blessed that it wasn't our trailer. So blessed. That is a massive win. So we're going to take that win. And remember when I was talking about mind the dips? Uh, this dip. is a dip. And we're glad that it got fixed quickly. We figured out what it was. It wasn't us. We didn't have to fix anything or pay anything. We tried to move a spot. So that's a huge win. We're gonna finish out our work day and we're gonna get on the road and go to Carlsbad. We are officially on the road. It is 5.05 .05 on the dot. That was the best breakdown we've had to do. <laughs> um, and we are headed to Carlsbad Caverns. We're gonna do that in the morning. So this is gonna be the end of our Big Bend Week video here. Babe, you wanna say anything for Big Bend Week? Um, it finished with a bang. It finished with a bang. Yes. And uh, we're glad it's the weekend. We see you guys in Carlsbad. <laughs>